Well, folks, welcome back to In the Bunker with Buck Buckner. And, well, you guessed it, I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out by the silence and specifically this conspiracy on Bigfoot, on Bigfoot. And, you know, uh, if I could have a sit-down interview with anyone, it would be Bigfoot. That's kind of on my bucket list. And, sure, I'd like to go out on an expedition and find him, but, well, that's that's a lot of walking. And uh, uh, I would much rather, you know, maybe interview him. And that would be fascinating to me because, you know, Bigfoot has been around for so long. And think about it, uh, you know, think about his name. I'm, I'm pretty sure it means uh, builder, build, Sasquatch, he who builds. And uh, that makes me think about the role that Bigfoot may or may not have played in building the pyramids. And, uh, you know, and I think about uh, all the sightings of him. I mean, if only 10% of them are correct, uh, Bigfoot's getting around to a lot of places. To me, that shows not only his mobility. And Bigfoot, you never, you know, he does a, he does a not, not a fast walk, but he has a long stride. So for him to be getting around so long, it really makes me think that, you know, nature is doing good to support a creature. Uh, not even a creature. I mean, what is Bigfoot? He's part, you know, he's almost part man. Part man, part mineral. Part He eats plants, I think. There's many plants that he eats. Uh, but it shows, you know, that there's just a lot of mysteries with Bigfoot, quite frankly. And that's why I'd want to interview him. And even if 10% of those sightings are incorrect, you know, or, you know, maybe people saw a squirrel or a bunny from a distance and they mistook it as a Bigfoot, you know, you may, let's, let's just be, you know, kind of exaggerate and say that 90% of those were, you know, false sightings. Well, 10% have to be real. And that's just a fact. I mean, I remember my high school math teacher, I told him, you know, I got 10% right. And so you can't say I failed completely because that 10%, even if it was for writing my name at the top of the paper, I, that counted, that got counted, you know, it wasn't a zero. And if it's not a zero, then Bigfoot does have to exist. So folks, it's a silent majority out there, quite frankly, in their conspiracy. And I think they're withholding information on Bigfoot and quite frankly, uh, that silence, that's why it freaks me out. People say, uh, Buck, are you just a scaredy cat and afraid of the dark? No, no, I'm, I'm afraid of what's being hidden. Oh, and that could be useful, not knowledgeable information for us to uh, really, you know, well, that's, that's vital information, quite frankly. And it's our right. It's our right to know it. So, well, let's take one more campfire break here, and uh, and then we're gonna have a uh, another uh, another uh, call in, open the lines, and uh, this is Buck Buckner in the bunker with Buck Buckner. <laughs>